Hey everybody, uh, Luke here from Fish Tennessee Today. I was just driving down the road and I went over that bridge and saw this water, pulled over, decided to take a look at the creek on Google Earth and it, it looked all right, so I think I'm gonna give it a chance. Um, I've already saw a few smallmouth swimming through these little groups of shiners and I've been here no time, so hopefully I can catch a few. So I'm going to start off with these little swim baits. This company called Big Hammer makes them. Um, this is the color they call Bay Shad. It's kind of got this little blue tint to it. I'm going to throw it on a 20th ounce net head. Just swim it through these little deeper spots and see if there's not some smallmouth. That didn't take long. Aha, uh -huh. so what I thought was a small mouth may actually be some really teeny little large mouths. So one surprising thing about this creek that I did not expect, really two surprising things. One is the current. There's, there is a decent amount of current in this little creek. Man, I just spooked a fish. Uh, number two is the amount of vegetation, I mean, if you can see in front of me, there's there's quite a bit of different um, different types of aquatic vegetation in here. Now what that means for me fishing, we'll see. <laughs> Man, there's a few fish laying right there, guys. Just keep making the cast in there and then uh, eventually we'll get lucky. I might have to switch. Just a really little bass. Really little. Got him. <laughs> oh, he come off. That's funny. So my first thoughts on this big hammer swim bait is that it has a lot of action and I believe it's gonna work well. It's very, very small. I've caught a few fish on it already and we haven't moved hardly anywhere. Right there's where we started. I've had several bites, but I think I need to slow down and really pick stuff apart to be able to catch these fish in here. I'm gonna swap to my Ned Bud. Got one. One really good thing about uh, all this vegetation in here is it makes it really easy to find the deep holes. That being said, now that I'm looking up ahead of me, I'm not seeing much vegetation. So hopefully it's not just super deep up through there. I'd be pretty surprised though. Got it. Oh, it come off. Good little deep pocket over here. I'm gonna make a cast at it. Just a second, I just don't wanna spook nothing off from over here. Ha 
<laughs> now get a load of this. This little bitty bass. I watched him eat it. He just sat there and he pecked at it and pecked at it and pecked at it. Every time I move it, he'd bite it again. I'm seeing a whole bunch of fish that are probably honestly this size. But it's neat just to be in a really clear creek where you can just see a whole bunch of fish. There we go, I got him back here good at that time. I don't know if I know of. Little guy was laying just on the other side of that tree limb. Right where he was supposed to be. Really, really colorful little sunfish. Little sand sunfish, let's see if we can get him to bite. Itty bitty little guy though. Oh, he took off. There are a couple fish right there. Kind of showed me where they are. Oh, there's a decent bass. I didn't spook him. That might be him. Yeah. No, don't you go up under that tree. Uh-oh, guys. All I've got with me is this light action rod. It's got four pound mono on it. Well, I guess we gotta go to him this time. Yeah! <laughs> oh man, that's a good little fish for this creek. Wow, and he was up here in like, I don't know, a foot of water maybe? Yeah, look at this guy. I mean, he's a solid little bass for a stream this size. Yeah, buddy. We might be in for a fun evening. Hey guys, I've hit what I would say is the halfway point. Um, this creek, this, like I said, this is the first time I've ever fished this creek and it is awesome. I didn't get below thigh deep probably the entire time, um, so far anyway. There's quite a bit of current. It's just an easy creek to wade. A lot of little fish, a couple of decent little largemouth. I couldn't get several of them to bite. I got one of them to bite. But hopefully the, the second half of this is just as good as the first. Not a terrible little fish. There you are. So I gotta look at you. Ooh, it's a real pretty sunfish. Oh man, look at this guy's the color on him. That that is a pretty sunfish. Going down through here and finding these uh the spots where there are a little deeper, there's a little deeper water. <clears throat> I'm just kind of casting this little Ned bug into them. Not all of them are holding a fish, but several of them are. bass right there. The sunfish just beat him to it. Yeah, there's another bass right where this sunfish bit it. I saw him swim off. He's about another pound or so. But hey, these guys are fun, especially on this light gear. We'll take those all day long. Oh, there he is. There's that good one. Oh, 
lost it. Oh man, I missed him. I don't know where he went to either. I couldn't see him. That's not him. Another little bass. Ooh, I know what that means. It means there's some little bass up here. I just saw some bait fish jumping up there. I missed the cast where they were by pretty good ways. But I guess it didn't matter. This fish was hungry. Another little bass. I was just swimming with it. I never even felt him pick it up. Man, when you're in this clear water in these creeks, these sunfish just get so pretty. There's so many different colors on it. The camera really doesn't do it justice how pretty they are. Another one, as soon as it hit the water, he's on it. There's a few little fish in that pole. I hooked him right here beside me, so I'm kind of going to get a little tired for a second. All right. Well, he may not be the longest one I've caught today, but he definitely weighs the most. That's probably the one that was chasing all the minners. I mean, he's got a little gut to him. <laughs> got my line all twisted up around my rod. I got a little one, had a little one on it. I don't know if he's still there, but I can't reel him in. All right, it's a shiner. So I see these things everywhere in this creek and on several of the other creeks I fish. That's not a bad fish. That's not a bad fish at all. Not even a, not bad for this creek. This is a decent fish, y'all. I don't want her to break me off. Oh, you get near that? Oh yeah. No, 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 no. Stay out of the trees now. You'd be good. Oh, 
Wow, yo, come on. This is ridiculous. I'm in like thigh deep water and just caught like a two pounder. Wow. Wow, I cannot believe this. Guys, this bass, it is a solid bass. I hope, I hope I can get the angle to show it. I mean, it is chunky. Got a big old gut on her. Alright, another some fish. Oh, he got himself off the hook. Alright, one final one. Another some fish. Alright, I think that's gonna be my last one. I think. We're at our exit spot. Man, this is this has been an awesome evening. I don't know, I've not been out here, but maybe an hour and a half, two hours. It's been a, a very short little trip. Hey guys, we're finishing up here at Indian Creek. Um, man, let me tell you, I'm surprised by this place. It had some good fish in it. Uh, had a bunch of fish, a ton of little bass. Um, I think if I just went down through here with like a crick hopper or, or a bitsy minnow, just some kind of small crankbait, there's no telling how many fish I would catch. Um, and I may do that here pretty soon, come back and just shoot another video here. Um, thanks for watching, and as always, remember to like and subscribe. It, uh, it really helps me out. Um, we'll see you again next time. Thanks.